Could you give us just a little bit of history of Gatorland for those of us who don't know? Why? Gatorland was started in 1949. Owen and Pearl Godwin started it. In fact, when it started out, it was called the uh, Florida Fish and Wildlife Institute. And uh, oddly enough, nobody would go to it because they thought it was some type of research facility. I, yeah. I think they got that because Institute was in the name. Right. So in another flash of branding brilliance, they changed the name to Snake Village. <laughs> didn't, didn't work out well. No, it didn't work out. The problem with that was that uh, the cars would pull into the driveway. Dad and the kids would jump out and go running in. And mm -hmm. mom sits in the car and goes, I am not going into a village full of snakes. <laughs> so about 1953, along came Gatorland. Uh, Owen and Pearl ran the business and grew it up until about 1975 when Owen passed away. Frank took it over. Mm -hmm. He ran it for 21 years and then he retired in 1996. And uh, they, they searched for about six months to find somebody that would come in and, and run the park and they couldn't find anyone, <laughs> I don't want to say stupid enough, or let's say brave <laughs> enough to come in and take over family business. And then the, the silly son-in-law, I raised my hand and said, hey, I'll give it a try. And so I took over in 1996 and uh, been here ever since. It's been a great run. What is your favorite part of the park? Gosh, my, I mean, I, I love a bunch of different sections of it. When, uh, when, when I started with the park back in 1996, it was still basically just the main walkway. A lot of mm -hmm. folks will remember the main walkway. Well, you know, one of the things we really wanted to do was to, to have children be able to get their hands on the right. animals to touch things yes. to interact prior to that it was a lot of just looking in an exhibit and, oh there's another alligator oh there's another alligator <laughs> oh hey that's an alligator <laughs> so we wanted the kids to do this so we brought in a petting zoo a free flight bird aviary mm -hmm. a children's water park and uh, started getting opportunities for children to touch things and learn about them and care about them more deeply well you sort of answered my next question was what changes have you made but you still didn't say what your favorite part was uh, I tell you, I, I really love our alligator breeding marsh. So I love it because you go out there and it's beautiful. It's a 10 acre breeding marsh full of alligators. There's birds raising their babies just arm's length away. Mm -hmm. And you get to see that natural action. I mean, I, I just love the natural portions of our park. I know that Gatorland's involved in the community. Can you explain how you were involved in the local community? Uh, we've been involved. We started in with uh, American Cancer Society's Relay for Life over there. We did that for years. We kind of moved over to the Hunter's Creek Relay now. Uh, gosh, been involved with the arts community over there. Uh, the historical Council, on, Council on Aging, the Historical Society. Is, the Historical Society is a, is a relatively uh, new relationship mm -hmm. for us over the past few, couple of years and uh, just a great relationship. Love the people there, love the mission. Uh, love what they've done with the, the expansions over there in the, in the village area and plus the, the welcome center is just gorgeous and uh, we've got some little alligators, we got some baby <laughs> alligators in, the, in, the, in that welcome center and uh, you know, they've done wonderful things for the community and grown as, as a charity and we're, we're proud to be a part of it. Do you have anything in the works that you can tell us about? Any new projects? Anything? After the zip line? Well, well actually, <laughs> uh, two parts of the zip line. We opened our original zip line back in uh, 2011. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's a zip line goes over alligators and, and crocodiles. And, and uh, it, it was a huge success. But whenever we were, were de designing it, we realized what we hadn't taken into account were people that were in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. We investigated zip lines all over the U.S. and we never visited a single one that was wheelchair accessible. So, you know, really, it's not something that we thought about until we had this one designed and we were in construction. You know what? We really need something that's wheelchair accessible. Uh, so it actually took us about another three years to design one, work out the safety mm -hmm. programs in it so we felt like mm -hmm. we could comfortably, safely get people out of their wheelchairs, hooked on a zip line, send them over alligators yeah. and crocodiles, get them off of it and back in their wheelchair safely. We just started that in February. We're very proud of that because of the way that it's touching people's lives. I know you've got Florida Residents Special going now. Is there anything coming up? Well, the Florida Residents Special is something that we started when the recession began mm -hmm. back in uh, at, at the end of 2008. And, you know, we've, we've been running it deeply. We, we deeply discounted to the Florida Residents mm -hmm. back there when the recession started because tourism was dropping off in the area. And we said, you know what? The, the, the locals have kept us going all these years, we're gonna give it back. So we did about a 60% discount to the Florida residents back then. Right now it's at 50% discount. It's mm -hmm. uh, $13.50 for adults, less than $10 for a child, 50% 50 50 off. Great deal and you know, people tell us all the time, you know, you don't need to run Florida resident specials in the summer, there's plenty of business. You don't, you don't run deep discounts during busy mm -hmm. periods. We go, 
bull. You know, we're going to run mm -hmm. it. We run it pretty much year round because it's our way of saying thanks to the locals. Come on in, have a good time, uh, experience Gatorland, and uh, just to say thank you for all the support they've given us all these years. Well, it's a great place to be. Let me tell you, I love it here. I thank you very much for thank taking you. your time. It's always I think a pleasure. That's all the questions. If and we have we, any more, we'll get in touch. Okay, and I love the Historical <laughs> Society. Thanks for coming out. Thank we love you, you. guys.